Hey, Agent. Take a look at this. Where is she? I, I don't know. How would I know? Khalil Janus and her Twi'lek associate were seen attacking exchange resources on Nar Shaddaa. Should I believe you wouldn't seek revenge? I want her last known location and I want it now! I love it. Listen to that little tremor in his voice. He's adorable. He does say your name with fondness. Ijal and I go way back. As soon as I show my face, he starts torturing people to track me down. He's been obsessed ever since we split up on Farstein. For an arms dealer, he's kinda sweet. Makes me feel wanted. If you've got such a bond, why not let him find you? Like you've never had a guy come after you. It's all part of the game. Of course, if he really does find me, he might be dangerous. After all we've been through, can I trust you to help me? If we can't rely on each other, who else is there? Isn't that the truth? I'll keep you in the loop. Next recording gets out, we can watch it together. Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-rim outposts. You're on a six-second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one, synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. After the last few worlds, I'll be sure to appreciate it. It'll keep you sane. Alderaan is governed by the wealthiest noble families in the galaxy. They've feuded for centuries, and are presently engaged in a full-scale war. You're here because Imperial Intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. What sort of financing are we talking about? Money for weapons, transportation, bribes, anything the cells need. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thul's efforts to claim the throne. But Intelligence does have one asset. Vector Hillis. Vector was an Imperial Ambassador to the Nobles, but he was later... repurposed. Now he's with the Killix, Alderaan's native alien species. I'm not familiar with them. What's their story? The Killix are an insectoid species that evolved on Alderaan. Most of the nests migrated into space millennia ago, but a few remain planetside. When Vector approached the Killix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. However, he continues to file activity reports, and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. A lack of humanity shouldn't compromise anyone. There are always exceptions, but we mustn't forget that they're rare. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. You'll rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watch it two out. Yes, this is the one, as the song schedule determined. I can't wait to see how this goes. We are Vector Hillis, Dawn Herald of the Ouroboros Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Agent. Cypher 9. I'm with Imperial Intelligence. Of course. We trust our appearance doesn't disturb you. Our superiors in the diplomatic service find our joining disconcerting, but it was necessary. The joining allowed us to share thoughts and senses with the Nest, forge a bond between Empire and Kilix. The change is a small price. Changed or not, you clean up well. You're very kind. We'd rub forearms, but it might not translate. Yes. As to your target, Imperial Intelligence provided us with a list of names, dates, and locations connected to your terrorist financier. Do you have an ID on the target? We can't identify the financier himself, but your information shows he's visited House Organa, House Ceres, House Pantier, and House Cortes. Cortes is a vassal of the Empire's proxy, House Thul. If you show the Cortes Baron a copy of our findings, he might close in on your foe. I was hoping for a more solid lead. So were we. We must proceed to the Dance of Unlighting, but we'll remain here for the duration of your mission. We suggest you present yourself to Cortes as an ally of the Empire. Show strength, 
And don't mention your intelligence connections. Hold your guard. In the name of Baron Payar Cortes and the Cortes Barony, I demand you state your business or face expulsion. My business is my own. Get these thugs out of my way. Huh. Imperial arrogance. I thought your people stayed in house food. Do you doubt a servant of the Empire might visit us, Captain? We're supposed to be allies, after all. I'm sorry, my lady. I'm merely surprised. As for you, I am Baroness Che Cortes. Please forgive our lack of hospitality, but my husband has no time for visitors. Have we offended you in some way, my lady? Some days ago, we lost a squad of battle droids patrolling the borders of Cortes lands. That squad was our first line of defense. We believe the squad's disappearance may presage an attack. Yet not one of our allies has come to our aid. What makes you think I was involved with your lost squad? Nothing. But you've done not to make my house safer. We don't know what destroyed our droids. They went silent. Until we find out, we must prepare for the worst. If you wish to make amends, send your troops to determine the fate of our patrol. Perhaps that will make my Baron smile again. You can't be serious. Whatever destroyed our patrol is a threat to my house. Until we know what we're dealing with, we admit no one. I'll leave you to Captain Perovius. I hope to see you under better circumstances. If your troops find the droids, tell them to activate the squad's homing beacon. Perhaps the data logs will help us. This is Captain Perovius. It's good to see you again. I'm impressed that you conducted the search personally. We're receiving the droids' logs now. You have my thanks. No thanks are necessary. It was my privilege. I would have lost men conducting the search. You saved lives today. At any rate, these logs are... discouraging. The droids skirmish with the Killix. Blasted bugs are on Cortez lands again. I ran into a few more on my way here. Figures as much. Rumor has it that the Killick nest is growing. Probably scouting for a new home. I'll make sure the Baron knows. Those things won't build a new hive in Cortez territory. I'll tell you that. Now that I've done my part, may I see the Baron? The Baroness is offering you an invitation to the estate. You may return at your leisure. The Baron is expecting you. This way, please. Our guest has arrived, my lord. Baron Payar Cortes, Sword of the Castle Lands, I hereby present to you the Honorable Emissary of the Sith Empire. This woman risked herself in the service of House Cortes, valiantly recovering our lost patrol and identifying the Killick threat. In appreciation of her noble deeds, and out of respect for her accomplishments, I ask that you grant her recognition. I so grant her recognition. I am Baron Payar Cortes, my lady. Welcome to my home. The pleasure is mine, Baron. Then we are both fortunate. I hope I didn't give the wrong impression at the gates. I, I just take the security of my house very seriously. One of few things she does, along with her gardens and her act dogs. You'll make me blush, my lord. Tell me now. Why do you seek my house? Is there a favor you would ask? An alliance you'd propose? I need to identify a man. I think you might be able to assist. I'll gladly help. Show me what you have. The dates in your files, yes, we've had visitors at these times, but that's no surprise. I believe the guest you're looking for is Master Denry Ale. We've hosted him and his summit on a number of occasions. Tell me where to find this man. Ah, well, it may not be so easy as that. Denry Ale was once Lord Denry Ale, a powerful and respected man among the vassal houses, but some years ago, he abdicated his position. 
He became a mediator dedicated to forging peace. Strange you should ask about him now. For several weeks, Denry Ale has been missing. Whether off on some secret negotiation or something more regrettable, no one knows. Isn't anyone trying to find him? Not that I'm aware of, one missing man in all this chaos. But it bears investigation. I'll begin looking into Ale's whereabouts through formal and informal diplomatic channels. If I can find him for you, I will. You may also wish to investigate the matter yourself. I'm sure the Empire has contacts who can assist. I appreciate your efforts, Baron. In the meantime, you're welcome to stay as a guest. House Cortes prides itself on its hospitality. We'll have to dine together. You can meet the Ack Dogs. The Baron has spoken. This audience is at an end. Is it me, or are there more bugs than last time? Welcome back. Your aura reflects your attunement to the Great Song. Vector, good to see you again, too. Our observers saw you enter the Cortes estate. The Fingerlings were listening, and heard mention of Denry Ale. We met Ale during our time as Ambassador. With his wealth and talent, he could be your target. Care to explain that? Denry Ale could obtain funding from houses across Alderaan. He could supply a terrorist army. We think we can find him. Our nest has had many joiners over the years. Soldiers, children, nobles. We can search their memories and see what they know of Denry Ale. You just go through people's brains. The joiners are already part of the nest. They share thoughts willingly. Don't be concerned. We remember Pabal Alder. When her speeder crashed, our foragers brought her to the hive. Our healers tended her. We became one. Her house, House Alder, an old house of scholars and antiquarians, granted Ale residence in honor of his work as a mediator. Ale kept records of his work in the Alder estate. If you can penetrate the estate's defenses, those records are yours. You say penetrate their defenses. What about a diplomatic approach? It's unlikely to work. House Alder opposes the Empire, and the estate is always prepared for an Imperial attack, even a stealthy one. Be careful. Agent, it's good to see you. Yes, we... We apologize. The nest has been invigorated by star dancing. If you could smell the pheromones, you'd understand our restlessness. Having trouble controlling the killets. There's nothing to be concerned about. The hive is growing, and we all benefit. We even have a gift for you. These orbs contain white membrosia. 
rare nectar produced by our givers. Pull back the wax and sip. You'll find it gives strength and healing. Nothing wins a girl's heart like bug milk. There's truth to that among Killix, but we're not sure that you'd like the details. In any case, how's the search for Denry Ale? I found records in the Alder Estate, but I am not sure what to make of them. This is perplexing. It looks like Ael funded the destruction of the Dominator and the assassination of Darth Jadus. But the rest is very odd. Have you shown this to Baron Peer? I was just on my way. Of course. We appreciate being kept apprised. We know you're under no obligation. We'll be on alert, should you need anything else. The Nest embraces our unity. Welcome back. I'll let the Baron know you're here. My dear, you shouldn't concern yourself with trifling details. I am concerned. This house needs all I can give, not just my gardening skills. Enough. We'll speak later. Ah, the Imperial Emissary. I hope you're enjoying your visit to Alderaan. But if you're here about Denry Ale, I must disappoint. I've been gathering information, yet I cannot locate him with any certainty. This data from House Alder might help. These records. They are the pieces of a puzzle my own sources left incomplete. It appears that some weeks ago, Master Ale arranged a secret meeting with House Wrist. That meeting is doubtless occurring as we speak. Ale's not meeting with anyone. He's hiding. I defer to your judgment. Still, be cautious. House Wrist is a stain upon the nobility. A house of slayers and poisoners. I suggest you wait for Denry Ale's return. A month, perhaps two. Don't earn the wrist assassin's ire by interfering in their affairs. It'll take more than dilettantes with knives to hurt me. House wrist earned its place through cunning and murder. Its blades are not dull, and confronting them will do no good. Now, I must cut this discussion short. I have other matters to attend to. See to our guest, my lady. Make certain Cortes hospitality remains second to none. I'm sorry about my husband. He's a busy man, and a brave one. Just not brave enough to confront the house wrist. Care to explain that? Everything the Baron said about wrist is true. They are a stain on society, and a foe of Cortes. When I was a child, wrist assassins poisoned my father and slit my brother's throat. Justice was never done. If Rist really is my enemy, your family will be avenged. You gladden my heart. I'll leave you alone. I'd warn you to be careful, but I know you will be. Ah! I was starting to wonder if we'd meet face to face. Welcome to House Rist. My name is Denry Ale. But of course you know that, and so much more after stealing my records. Pleasure to meet you, Master Ale. Oh, and you. I hear you've been looking for me for some time. Tell me, Imperial, did you come all the way from Dromond Cass? Not that it matters. When we heard you were on your way, I arranged for my friends at considerable expense to prepare a traditional wrist welcome. In other words, you planned this. Did someone tip you off? Let's just say I'm not the only person on Alderaan to believe the Empire has become a problem. Now, should you manage to drive past the poisoned blades of my wrist friends here, I'll warn you, I am a skilled duelist. But I doubt that'll be relevant. Gentlemen, you may kill the intruder. Worthless filth! You may have killed me, but you can't take away what I've achieved! I worked for peace on Alderaan. I showed the houses how to settle their differences. What have you ever done for decent men? Don't talk. 
I'll try to bind your wounds. <laughs> a little... <clears throat> a little late for that. Master Ian, I'm sorry to disturb, but this message must reach you in time. The situation's grown worse. The thorn in my side knows your visiting house wrist, and I believe she'll soon give chase. She's dangerous, Denry. She's in league with my husband, and somehow gained access to your personal journals. You're going to need protection. I know the wrists aren't committed to working for us yet, but I hope you can convince them to help you. I'm sure you can sway them somehow. You have a way with words. Halt! Leave Cortez lands immediately, or be forcibly expelled. What are you talking about? The Baroness has revoked your access to the estate. She's ordered all defenses raised. You may as well turn around. We've got blast doors, force fields. This estate is designed to repel an army. All right, I'm leaving, Captain. Then you'll forgive me if I make absolutely certain. Attack now! Fun. You don't think blasters are going to get us through here, Agent. Maybe we should talk to your bug boy. Agent, come inside. The nest is prepared to defend you. Yeah, that's what you need these bugs for. Defending us. Our observers saw what happened. Why did Cortez turn on you? How can we help? Cortez knows I'm coming after them. We won't pretend to understand, but we'll assist however we can. The Nest has studied the Cortez estate's defenses and deemed them formidable. The interior shields are designed for squads of human attackers, the perimeter security systems are meant to combat armies, and killic swarms. Can we disable the shield somehow? The power generators are behind the main estate, they're well guarded, but they might be sabotaged from the inside. If we, if I could reach the generators, I could release a swarm of fingerling killicks. Our smallest brethren can easily slip through the cracks and damage the machinery. You've got miniature saboteur bugs. Yes. There are times when smaller bodies prove useful. If you two are taking out the shield generators, I'll keep the Cortez patrols busy. Maybe poach something nice. We'll meet up after this is over. You and Bug Boy have a good time. Each of us can carry a handful of fingling eggs. Once our young destroy the shield generator, we can proceed inside. What have you done? Baron, I beg of you. You have made an enemy of the Empire. You have brought vermin into my house. I swear, I only wanted to protect us. Silence! <gasps> my honored guest, I bow my head in surrender, and I apologize for what's become of Cortez. You had no idea what your wife's been up to. It is the truth. Our reinforcements have arrived. We will attack on your signal. I knew nothing of my wife's conspiracy. She only confessed once the house defenses were down. But I will make amends. Now, Captain. an honorable man. I appreciate your sacrifice. 
I had no other choice. Now, take your insects away from this place. We can discuss further recompense as civilized people. We're afraid that's not your decision, Baron. Denry Ale and the Baroness are dead. With our assistance, the terrorist funding has been stopped. Now the nest will claim its price. What are you talking about, Vector? House Cortez will make a perfect extension of the hive. These rooms will become egg chambers and membrosia pools. The family can become joiners. What? You cannot do this! I gave you my wife! House Cortez opposed the Empire and must be subdued. The nest is growing and must expand its territory. There's no reason we can't talk this through. We don't understand. By allowing the Kilix to absorb House Cortez, both the Empire and the Nest benefit. Why would you object? The Baron gave us what we needed. The threat is over. A member of House Cortez acted against the Empire, therefore it is the will of House Cortez to oppose you. The Nest doesn't distinguish between the actions of groups and individuals, and the colony must expand. Agent, we... I... must know if you intend to oppose us. If you do, the Nest will fight to defend its claim. Would you fight me too? We... would not. Our loyalty to the Empire comes first. We have to defend Cortez. I'm glad you're on my side. We understand. We'll do what needs to be done. Men, defend the Baron! has withdrawn. House Cortez is safe. For now. You turned on the nest. That couldn't have been easy. The nest transformed us into the Dawn Herald. The nest gave us peace and understanding. But we were always the Empire's emissary. I am grateful for your aid. House Cortez has suffered enough. You've endured some terrible losses, Baron. The weeks ahead may prove trying, but we will endure. Baron, perhaps you'd allow us to access your computers. We are certain our superiors would like to see the Baroness's files. Captain Barovius, arrange it. I must see to our defenses in case anyone else would take advantage of our humbled state. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I'm receiving your transmission. Watchers are reviewing the Cortes logs now. It looks like you've wrapped up the terrorist financing situation. Congratulations. Keeper, I wasn't expecting to hear from you. I pay close attention to my operations. Preliminary analysis suggests the Eagle's Terror Network will run low on funds within weeks. The cells will look for alternative credit sources, of course. Let's not give them the chance to find any. The Eagle will be long dead by that point. Excellent. Now I have news for you, both of you. I contacted Vector superiors in the diplomatic service, and we've reached an agreement. Sir? Your requisition has been made permanent. You've been officially transferred to Imperial Intelligence. Cypher 9, from now on, Vector Hellas will act as a covert assault agent under your command. Understood? Understood. Welcome aboard, Vector. 
we'll do our best to live up to expectations. Once you're through on Alderaan, return to your ship for debriefing. Watcher 2 should have updates ready for you. In the meantime, instruct Vector as you see fit. I expect he'll require additional training. I'm sure Vector and I will make a good team. Good. Stay alert, Cypher. Keep her out. Agent, we are grateful for this opportunity. After fighting the nest, we don't think we can return to the hive. Fighting the Kilix was the right thing to do. Remember that. Of course. Thank you. We'll follow the rhythm of the Song of the Universe until the great merging comes. Secure transmission established. This is Watcher 2. Your efforts to destabilize the Terra network are working better than expected, Cypher. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. We attempted to capture the Eagle in a raid on Tholaton. We found a base, but the man had moved on. If we can't find him, we'll keep attacking his network. Agreed. Sooner or later, he'll have nowhere to run. We've also been researching the so-called eradicator devices. They're satellites, orbital strike weapons with enough firepower to level a city. Here's the bizarre thing. The terrorists aren't building the eradicators, they're growing them. Never figured the eagle for a gardener. For the record, he's not, according to our profile. The eradicators are a combination of biological and mechanical components, organic batteries in a weaponized shell. The terrorists don't need factories anymore. They can grow eradicators wherever there's room. Do we know when the terrorists plan to attack? Not tomorrow, but soon. For now, we'll continue gathering information. You have your own mission. Destroy the cells and they'll lead us to the Eagle. Watcher 2 out. Agent, we're finalizing our exit report for the diplomatic service. 34 pages of seating charts, ambassador profiles, and appendices. We'll transmit it to our superiors, and then we're yours full time. Any second thoughts about leaving diplomacy for intelligence? We'll miss it, and we're sorry to hand over the unfinished work, but they'll do fine without me. You know, we used to advise first contact missions to new star systems. We met some unusual people. But we haven't had many new experiences since joining the Kilix. Time to broaden our horizons. To see everything fresh from a Kilix perspective? Something of the sort. Tastes, sounds, smells. They're all a bit different. But we won't bore you. Lead the way.